heteroflexible or bicarious. No one cares but my mom. So I haven't had that conversation because I don't know how to do that respectfully. My um, middle sister, I'm the youngest, she's bisexual. And we live in like a very like, you're black, you're Christian, you're quiet, you are nothing else, you're straight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Girlfriend, I've been there, I know. <laughs> but then she was like, I'm bisexual, but I'm also black, and I'm also Christian, leave me alone, I'm me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm having like a really hard time like finding who I am. I don't know if I'm straight, I don't know if I'm gay, like I have had like relations with both, and like it's really hard to like share that. You know, I couldn't walk in these halls not 10 steps without someone, I'm bare, like brace yourselves, but I, mean, I got called like the F word every 10 steps I took. At that time, like gay straight alliance was something I didn't think would ever be like literally allowed. Like when, how long has this been here? Like what's bully culture like here? Like how is it going? If somebody is getting bullied, we try to comfort each other because like all in all, we're a support group yeah. for each other. Not only are we a club, but we, we all love each other. We're like family. Where did you get the courage to come out? You. Oh, oh, babe. I was having a lot of anxiety and doubt, but then I discovered you guys, but you guys don't seem to have much stress at all. Do you mind me asking how old are you? I'm 15. Okay, that takes a lot of strength to come out at, at your age. Yeah. It, I don't, I'm not saying it's easier when you're 30, but coming out of school is definitely hard. For the longest time, I didn't even tell my mom. Mm -hmm. Like, she didn't know for a while. Yeah, no, this was only a recent thing when she came out. When I came out, I did not speak to my parents for quite a few years. Um, we were estranged. We did not have a good relationship. Eventually, my parents came around. You know, when it comes to our parents, sometimes we expect them to come to terms with you being somebody they didn't realize you were in seconds. My coming out story, I did this like really intense, like lyrical interpretive dance for the sixth grade talent show. It was to a jewel song. It was <laughs> oh, really major, that was like but out album. I got so many questions about my sexuality. I just was like, yeah, you know what I am? Super gay. I feel like there's something that's always made me uncomfortable with calling myself one label because I wasn't really sure how I identified. And I don't need to figure out what it is today, even at the ripe old age of 34. In my experience, in my life, it's been more for other people just to feel comfortable about how they can identify me. I don't really know. I've never really had a relationship with either gender, but I don't really care. I feel like I'll get there when I get there, Good. and I just want to be a supporter. Just because you're coming out to some people now doesn't mean you have to come out to everybody. You come out to people when it feels right for you, when you feel it is time. You know, it, it took little steps. I definitely, it was not just an all wham bam, I'm gay. It was I told one person and then there was a girl I was dating who actually came out to me as well and we're like, well, this is perfect. You. Um, <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll stay together, but we'll, we'll you know. Okay. Uh, exactly, yeah. we'll, we'll, you could date girls, I'll date oh, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, what has the community's impact been seeing our show come back? It will inspire people to make more shows about being not just gay, but the Go entire there. LGBT. Yes, yes girl. Yes. Go there. Yes. Yes. We need more trans representation. We need more gorgeous lesbian representation. Yes, I love that story. Yes. More stories. Yes. More LGBT <laughs> stuff. Yes. yes. As someone who got like so bullied and so tormented, you guys are light years ahead of where I thought movement would be. We're inspiring more people by doing this. And I feel like a lot of people in a lot of schools are gonna like this. But there's also gonna be the people who are gonna be like, man, those gays are just so bad. <laughs> but I think that like, we are fed so much like expectations of like, how you're supposed to act as a female, how you're supposed to act as a male, like how you're supposed to carry yourself. Like, you know, all these like rules that you're supposed to live by, like you are charting a very gorgeous, fierce course. Yeah. Yes, queen. You know what I mean? I'm living for it. Well, listen, as we leave, like stick with me, we're just gonna do a little chant. So if you could just repeat after me. I love me. I love, I love me. me. I respect me. I respect me. And love and respect is what it's all about. And love and respect is what it's all about. Things keep getting better.